Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Seppi, and today I am coming back with another daily vlog in the life of a junior doctor. I'm gonna bring you guys along to my day off and then to my on-call weekend, which I hope that you guys will enjoy. I know that you guys have been giving me such good feedback on the past few vlogs that have been like this in theme, so I hope that you enjoyed this one. To kickstart the vlog, there's actually something I wanna show you at the start of the video. To kick off this vlog, I really wanted to show you guys something that I've been wanting for ages and I'm so lucky to have finally. I'm actually sharing it with my sister Sina because it is so amazing and it is my Yo-Yo Desk Pro 2. So this is my new desk. I got it from sitstand.com. It's across the screen. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. But genuinely, I don't do sponsorships unless I really like the brand. And this brand of desks is amazing and I'm going to show you why. So our first feature is the fact that we can remotely adjust the height of the desk. So it's as simple as that. So whether you want to sit down or stand up, you can change the height of the desk yourself. And what you see here, one, two, and three, are all the different levels that you can save it as. So for example, Sina, my sister, when she uses the desk, she can save it at under setting one, and when I use it, I can use it under setting two. Um, and you can just change it so that you are sitting down or standing. I think it's really good to get used to using standing desks because it keeps you active and keeps your mind more stimulated and engaged when you're standing, which is great. Another incredible feature is underneath here, we have the plug socket where you can put in all of your different outlets. So I've connected my printer up to the desk and I just think that that's so cool. Like as in there's no need for my printer to be separate. And then we have, lol, excuse the little sneaky on the table, but we have this trunking back here. Um, I chose mine in silver and it's just to keep all of your wires neat and keep them all in one place to stop it from kind of just hanging um, down and awful and all like jumbled up. So it kind of keeps your cables safe. You can actually customize your yo-yo desk. You can pick the desk size, you can pick the top color, you can pick the frame color and it's completely personal to you, which I absolutely love because you can pick what blends with your furniture at home. And even if it's like you want the bottom, the frame of it a different color to the top, it doesn't need to be the same color. It's completely down to you. I've gone for the all black because I think it suits our furniture and it's just movable. Like in the future, if I get an office, I can move this into the office, but for now it's perfect here in the bedroom and this is where I'll be keeping it. So the lovely people at sitstand.com have shared a discount code for me to share with you guys, um, which is valid for the whole of 2021 and it gets you £50 off of any desk over the price of £200. The code is across the screen now and I will link this desk and the website link if you guys are interested in shopping in the description bar below. So the coupon code is valid for all of 2021 is PB50 and it gets you £50 off of any of the products uh, with a minimum spend of £200 on the website, which is an incredible 25% save. So if you guys are in the market for a desk, genuinely really recommend this. Sina has been using this for the past week now. Someone came in specifically to our house, um, delivered it and installed it, which I really love too. They check with you when you're at home and when it's convenient for you, whether you have stairs and um, all of that stuff. So it's really, really nice and professional and all of that comes with um, the price that you pay um, with the desk and shipping, which I thought was wonderful service. Like I honestly couldn't recommend it enough. So yeah, if you're in the market for a desk, studying, in the office, work, anything. I really recommend this. It's incredible to be standing up and doing the work as well rather than just always sitting down. But if I want to sit down, I can just adjust the height and it is as simple as this. So let's continue with the vlog. 
I'm sorry already, I'm going to apologise in advance, I sound a bit nasal um, and I look so red. First thing in the morning is when my hay fever medication is at its lowest concentration, so I literally have taken one now and hopefully it will kick in within the next hour or so and then I will look less red and stuffy and I will sound better. So I'm going to apologise in advance for sounding like this. Um, but yeah, welcome back to another vlog and I have loved the response that you guys had to my previous vlog of me showing you my life in the clinic and a lot of me at work and just being able to share that side uh, of me with you because so many of you have known me since I was a medical student here on YouTube and so many of you are joining the journey now so yeah I'm grateful for all of you. Today is my day off, it's Thursday, it is my only day off in the week. The way that my schedule works now I usually only get one day off in the week if I'm lucky and that is because we run a clinic in the days that I'm not working full time as an NHS doctor so um, yeah that's why today's my only day off and I'm using it to film uh, for you guys create content I want to film my Zara haul I want to go to the gym I have an audit that I need to finish I've literally done everything for it I just need to write up what I've found like the conclusions basically um, so that is what I have left to do I have a return to H&M if you guys watch my H&M haul, there was a couple of t-shirts that I wanted to return, so I need to do that. Um, I've just basically got a little, like, odd bob jobs. And then in the evening, I'm going with three of my friends to some sort of, like, rooftop bar thing. So I'm looking forward to that. And then tomorrow is Friday, Saturday and Sunday as well. I am on call from 9am till 9.30pm. So yeah, I am i haven't done it on call in ages, just the way that my rotors worked when I finished my last job versus starting this new job. Like I finished on like two weeks of no on calls and I had annual leave for like 10 days. And this new job, I've had two weeks of no on calls as well. So I literally haven't been on call in a month which has been blissful but yeah it's gonna be a rude awakening to have three days in a call uh three days on call in a row but oh well it is what it is it comes with the job and i actually love on calls because as a junior in you work a lot more independently when you're on call versus when you're on a normal ward day which i love so yeah i'm just excited to bring you guys all along for that right now i'm just drinking my coffee this cute mug was gifted to me by my hospital mess society i make an espresso every single morning especially on my way to work I'll just have a little Nespresso in my like little blue floral chilies um, mug but today I'm just having it at home uh, I'm not feeling hungry yet but I will probably eat something in the next couple of hours I just have my diary out and I am planning out my day for any of you guys who watched my birthday gift haul um, Sol got me this diary but she got it one size smaller she got it in the size small um, and I changed it and I got a medium and I'm so happy I did that I think a large would have been too big and a small was too small. I think this is the perfect size for a diary in your bag. Um, Sol and I were saying we probably want to get a large one for our clinic, but more like um, not in a diary format, but kind of in a diary format, but basically more in like a notebook format so we can write like all of our clients, the treatments they've had, etc., um, and like follow up stuff. Um, but we'll see like what what paper will get inside that and if we get this notebook or not, I will show you. Um, yeah, also, speaking of stuff I wanna get, unnecessary purchases, I saw Olivia Jade had the pink Bottega bag and I am obsessed and now I'm thinking, do I buy myself a pink Bottega to say, you know, well done, you've been working hard, or do I just be honest and think, nah, you don't actually need to buy yourself something right now and you should save that money. I don't know, we'll see what I do. Um, and lastly, before I put this camera down, I have had the COVID jab in this arm yesterday. It's my second one, I am now fully vaccinated, yay! Uh, one year on from COVID and today is one year since I graduated med school as well. Um, it's nice to know that we have moved forward in the pandemic and I'm so grateful to be living in the United Kingdom where we are managing to vaccinate I believe more than anyone else in the world um, so thank you God and thank you to everyone so it's 10 a.m. and I'm gonna go to the gym now I'm just wearing these leggings from Forever 21 this sports bra is from Bow and T um, I got it a long time like last summer and I showed you guys in a vlog 
Um, and then my trainers are these pink Nike ones. And yeah, I'm just gonna go for like a 45 minute workout. I don't like to do longer because then I feel like it takes up my whole day because um, I could easily do like a two hour workout if I wanted to sometimes. So that is what we're aiming for. Guys, I think for my next dancing comp, sorry this shakes by the way, I don't have a stand for my camera in my car, but I need one because I always want to talk to you guys in my car. But I think for my next Persian dance competition, I should do Come Ryan Human. Um, so let me go, let me know if you guys want to see another dance comp, and also if you want to see Come Ryan Human or who you would want, whose music you would want. So I'm back from the gym. I quickly got changed. I'm in this T-shirt and my UGG slippers, and my mum is gonna come with me. We are going to get. I'm getting a pedicure, I think my mum wants a manicure. Um, she's actually taking so long, it is frustrating me. We're gonna be late, but I need to grab a protein shake. My hands are shaking, because I haven't eaten yet. In the gym, I only drank my BCAA drink, so I can't find my protein shake. Let me find it, one sec. So I'm gonna drink this protein shake, it's the U-Fit. It's got 22 grams of protein, and they say you should drink um, protein shakes within 30 minutes of your workout in order to restore uh, all of the amino acids and proteins that you lost during your workout and build muscle. So that is why I'm having that. I haven't had breakfast yet, but I'm taking my laptop to where I'm going for my pedicure so I can do my audit at the same time and that will save me a lot of time rather than sitting there being bored because it takes ages to get pedicures and stuff. But we're gonna be late if my mum doesn't hurry up. This is the annoying thing about Iranian parents, they're always late. Miraculously, we've managed to make it on time to the nail shop. Mum, you were taking ages to get ready. Yeah. To be fair, you did your makeup really fast because she didn't have makeup when I told her to just come. Oh, sign is calling me, BRB. I wasn't joking when I said I was going to multitask and do both things at once because otherwise I won't make it to have a pedicure. Let me see. Come closer. So beautiful. So I don't mind how messy my car is, but I got white toes. I don't know if you guys can see. It's too dark, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see my nails. <laughs> Your nails actually look so much better in this light. They look so pretty, Mom. Very it's elegant. Really, I love it. Honestly, I, I miss I getting my nails done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're discussing what to eat because it's currently, I was saying to my mom, it's so good that I woke up so early. I woke up at 8.30 um, because now I've done so much of my tasks for the day and it's only 12.30 now, but I haven't had any food, like physical food yet. I've had my protein shake, but I'm getting really hungry now. So my Should mom- Should I make an omelette for you? I might make it myself. I'll see what, like, what's oh, on such Do a you have bigger. salami? Yes. Oh, my mum makes me the best salami avocado bagels for work, and then I have that with like a salad, and it's the best. Yeah. Mm, nah. Girl kings? Nah. nah. Because khiarshur is like for Iranian kalbas. Kalbas, mm. guys, is like the 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 meat that you put like the dry cold meat. Yeah, oh. So look at how busy this coffee shop is. Wow. So yeah, I'm gonna have a sandwich. I'm gonna film my Zara haul and You're just going out tonight. Yeah. Um, so even though it's my day off, it's not really my day off because <laughs> I still work. But because yes. I love doing, I mean, I love everything that I do. But YouTube doesn't feel like work, don't you exactly, think? Exactly. Yes. For those of you who don't know, my mum also has a YouTube channel, Music Here Than Mom. So this is the ingredients that are gonna go into my egg. We've got one egg. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of mozzarella. I'm gonna mix the egg with some chilies and garlic, and then I'm gonna top it off uh, on a bagel with some pepperoni, which I absolutely love. So even though like I'm not on a diet, I'm just trying to eat healthier, and I try and eat what I like and what I enjoy, um, and maybe like just try and control my portion size, but about three weeks ago, I stopped drinking soft drinks. Like I don't drink Diet Coke, Fanta, Pepsi, etc. Um, I do drink sparkling water, and I do drink. Um, sometimes I drink energy drinks when I'm like tired and I need an energy boost or whatever. 
but I don't drink soft drinks anymore. Before, I would say the only fluids I would drink was Diet Coke with my food and coffee in the morning, which is awful. Um, but I've noticed that since I've stopped drinking Diet Coke, um, I really don't crave sweets and sugar at all. And I remember one of my friends in school, her mum went to a yoga retreat in Portugal when she came back. I was at their house and I was having sushi and a Diet Coke and she was like, you shouldn't be drinking this Diet Coke, it makes you crave sugars, it makes you put on weight. And I was just like, oh really? And I wasn't taking it seriously, but now I see how right she was. That being said, this isn't the first time that I've quit soft drinks before. When I was about 10, I think I quit for three years. Then I drank it again for a year, then I quit for another two years. And then I just restarted again when I was 15 because I went to Iran. And in Iran, like it's either like water or soft drinks and there's no juices really, unless you go to a juice shop in which they have a lot of juices. Behind <laughs> my dad's like watch, watching me. Have you said hi? Hello. No, you're not. You have to come in the frame. Would you okay. like to be on there? Uh huh. I'm ready. Thank you. Say hello. Hello. Good afternoon. I know. Pella, how much have I done today? And it's only 12:30. How much? So I went to the gym, I got my pedicure. When I was there, I took my laptop, I did my audit. Because you wake up early. Yeah, do you like my toes? Very nice. Nice? Very. Do 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 do. <laughs> Love you. So this is the start of my omelette. This is the start of my mum's omelette she's making for Sina. She adds like really large chunks of tomato, onion, mushroom, chilies and then she cracks an egg over it and she learnt this off of our lovely Afghan neighbours, they're our close friends and they always make that for breakfast and I love that but today I just fancy that and then this is this is my egg mix, I've put like chilli flakes in there some black pepper, some salt and some uh, garlic and I'm just gonna stir that into this once the mushrooms are a bit more fried. This is the bagels that I'm using, it's the Warburton's protein bagel. My mum got these, I just like thin bagels, I don't care if they're protein or not because let's be real, bread is carb, not protein. Um, but yeah, I just like thin ones and you can get loads of really nice thin seeded bagels in like grocery stores and stuff. And I'm just gonna put this pepperoni and some mozzarella onto <coughs> this. It's gonna be like a really loaded bagel though update on the omelette and you guys can hear my dad playing his instrument in the background he's playing the tar yum me and my mum are literally laughing at how huge this mozzarella is like look at this knife it is so long oh my god so i popped the mozzarella bread into the microwave just to make it a bit more gooey and i'm gonna put this on top Here's my finished product. I've just topped the pepperoni with some guacamole and then the egg with the bagel and then I'm gonna flip this onto this. Let me do it one sec. I can do it my nail. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. What a loaded bagel. Yummy. I am a chef. What can I say? <laughs> So I am on call now, it is Sunday and I'm just going to drop off some emergency acidic tap samples to the lab. So emergency samples, some hospitals have pod systems and then emergency samples you have to like drop it yourself by hand which is what I'm doing. But there's a lot of running around, honestly on call you get your steps in. So behind that box I just showed you is the rest of the lab where they do all the blood, all the samples, it's the biochemistry lab and then connected they have the microbiology lab and as you saw it says on there if you have an urgent sample then you need to hand it to them physically. I was thinking they really need like a little call button because I'm just in there shouting like Kiwi! <laughs> um, but yeah. Also for lunch today, I have gourmet sabzi for me and my friend Nabia. My mum made it, shout out the goat. So I'll show you our lunch. Hi. Wait, it started now. Oh, hello. So this is one of my best friends, Nabia. We are like really, really close, even though we literally met um, a few months ago. Yeah. It feels like a lifetime. <laughs> There's people coming behind us, I'm shy. Oh, here we go, I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. <laughs> so I just made Nabia take some pictures of me for the thumbnail of this vlog. Um, so today yeah. is Sunday. How much better is today versus yesterday? Oh my God, a million times better. Uh, yeah, so yesterday was like really, really busy. Today we actually have time to go for lunch, whereas yesterday we were forcing that lunch break in, yeah. which is good. And we have one of the
This fresh out the shower vibe is honestly not a vibe. Whenever I come fresh out the shower, my face always looks so red. I can't even, I can't even deal. On a side note, I hope that you guys like my eyelash extensions. I personally really like them. I know that some of my followers always say that they look too long or that I can fly away with these lashes, but they're absolutely my fave. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I am very tired these days, like honestly crazy tired, which is the sad reason why I haven't been posting as frequently, but I'm gonna try and fix that. I'm trying to go back to posting twice a week. So fingers crossed everyone um, stay motivated with me. Um, I'm just trying to stay on top of, you know, going gym, going to work, going to the clinic, trying to create content on here, trying to create content for Instagram and trying to manage the Instagram for our clinic too. So. I feel like sometimes I am doing a lot, in case you guys are wondering if I do think that. I do sometimes think I'm doing a lot, but I never think it's nothing that I'm not capable of doing. I do think, like, we set our own limits and our own standards, and we have 24 hours in a day, which is plenty of time to do um, so much. Like, I actually think we shouldn't limit ourselves um, into, you know, what we can do. But I also am aware when I get too tired, um, so I do give myself breaks and I'm sorry that means that you guys didn't have a video for the past week um, But I hope that you guys are enjoying these little um, Vlogs where you come to work with me and have that whole insight into being a doctor Because I know I wish I had vlogs like this when I was looking to apply to med school So I'm finally gonna say goodbye um, I just want to thank sitstand.com again for sponsoring this video and for the amazing desk honestly guys genuinely Sina loves that desk I love that desk I have an exam coming up in July um, so yes by the way you still do exams when you qualify as a doctor so I need somewhere to study as well and I actually wanted a new desk and I was just really lucky to be able to work with such a great brand so if you guys want to check it out it's linked in the description the discount code is across the screen and i will see you guys in my next video love you so much bye